program director told me is like, look, I'm taking a chance on you. If you if you sound good, we're gonna go. If you sound horrible, I'm coming to the station and taking you right off the air. Mm, just like that. Just like that. You know what I mean? But I did my thing and you know, put on put on some gear and met him at Pegasus later on that night. And you know, we clanged it. And that was, you know, the start of my mixed career on radio in Philadelphia. See, that's what I'm talking about. Rising yeah. to the occasion, man. Rising to the occasion. And then yes. I was board hopping and Jay Ski could never get to the station on time because he was doing the broadcast and he had a show called The Fundamentals right after the broadcast. So he goes, you know, your tactics, you love hip hop, right? I was like, yeah. He's like, why don't you bring a couple records? You know what I mean? You know what my format is. Bring a couple records and, you know, kind of, you know, start the first half hour so it can give me time to get there. I was like, yeah, you what? And then that became a tradition because even when it turned into pure elements, I always started it off. You know what I mean? And we take that to our podcast even today. Because we've been doing the podcast for really, I think, like, like 14 years now on different formats since they yeah, took I think on, what block spot at one point I think I, it was oh I forgot where the first one was I, I've seen was, a couple on a different yeah, uh, you know we had you know we had our own little website plelements.com you know and that faltered and then we just settled on Podomatic and that's what we've been doing for the past maybe like really five years five six years you know what I mean dope. but the most important thing, though, I got out of that story is you were available. And I yeah. think a lot of people uh, don't understand that. Like when you get that call to do mm -hmm. something as a DJ or that opportunity and you're available, you're ready to go. You, you're not like, oh, can I, can I do it tomorrow or give me three, four or five hours? Like you were available when DJ J Ski needed you and then that right. propelled you. So right. much salute. Much you respect. Know. I mean, I love that. And DJs, you gotta, you gotta stay ready. You, you gotta, gotta stay up. ready, and you got. Guess what? And you know, anything, anytime that you're dealing with, you know, a, a DJ of the caliber of Jay Ski, all right, you can't, you can't be the weak link. You know what I mean? So you gotta get, you gotta get your cutting right. You know what I mean? It's gotta be right. And, you know, I learned a lot from him. I've learned a lot from, you know, one thing that I would always say, right? Always be a student of the crap. You can learn from everybody. You know what I mean? If you, if, if you go to an event and a DJ is dope and you know it's dope, you know what I mean? Like, you know, you know. You know, I learned something from DJ Active, right? Mm, okay. Superstar DJ. But, you know, I'm watching his hands. I'm watching what he does. You know what I mean? It's like, even, you know, you, you go out there, you see how they move the crowd. And, you know, I mean, hell, bite. You know what I mean? Bite, you know, bite, you know, and learn what they do because that's something that's going to help you out in your craft. 